hey, Mark Rice here. And maybe you just started with game design, animation or illustration where you need a planet. So definitely you will need the earth. And let's start with the drawing. First hit L on the keyboard, hold shift and draw the circle. The circle can be blue. Okay. So this is the basic shape of the planet. Now I will start with the green parts. This will be the land. So hit M on the keyboard. Select the green color and start to draw. I will create one rectangle here and one more here. Okay. Now I want to connect these rectangles, but before that I need to create the rounded corners. So select the shape, go to the tool panel, select direct selection tool and make the rounded corners. I will do this with this shape as well. Beautiful. Now I will hit M on the keyboard and create one more rectangle here. Now I will select this rectangle together with the rounded rectangles. So hold shift and select the shapes. Go to Pathfinder and hit Unite. Okay, beautiful. It will be much better if I create rounded corners here as well. So select direct selection tool, select this point here, hold shift, then select this point, this point and this point as well. Pick up the white point and start to move. Okay. Now I will repeat the process one more time. So hit M on the keyboard, create one rectangle here, one here, then create rounded corners, hit M, draw new shape, unite the shapes, and create rounded corners here as well. Here I will create a small rectangle. One more here. A big one will be here. And here as well. Select the rect selection tool and create rounded corners. So I just created the basic shapes of the land and I don't need the parts outside of the blue circle. So I will copy the blue circle with Ctrl C, Ctrl F command. Then I will select the copied circle together with this shape here, this one, this one as well and this one. Then go to Pathfinder and use the white. Ungroup the shapes and delete everything except the shapes inside of the blue circle. Okay, cool. And the land will look better with more details. So hit M and draw the rectangle here. It can be dark green. Here I can create one more rectangle. and a few rectangles on the rest of the lane. The rectangles will be rounded as well. And I need a few details on the blue part of the planet as well. So hit M and draw one rectangle here. It will be light blue. One more here. Make these shapes rounded. Create one rectangle here. Select the shapes and use Unite in the Pathfinder. Select the Direct Selection tool. Then these four corners and make them round. Ok, 
Okay. Hit M again. Draw one rectangle here. One, it can be here. And one here. The corners need to be rounded as well. Select the shapes and group them with Ctrl G command. Okay, the earth isn't the earth without clouds, so I will create a few rectangles for the clouds as well. Hit M, select the white color, then create a few rectangles on the top of the earth. Here. Try to create random positions. Okay, for these two shapes, I will use the same method as I did with this part of the land. So hit M, draw one rectangle here, and one more will be here. Make this corner around, and these corners as well. I will repeat the process here. Okay. At the end, I will group the cloud shapes and make them transparent. So, select the first cloud, hold shift, then select other clouds as well. Group them with Ctrl G. Then open transparency tab and the opacity will be 55. Okay, the earth is finished, but it can be even better if I create atmosphere around the planet. So copy the blue circle with Ctrl C. Then paste the circle with Ctrl plus F. Then hold Shift plus Alt and change the size. Select the shape, click with the right mouse button, go to Orange and send to back. I will use transparency for the new shape as well. It will be 15 or 25 okay copy the new shape with ctrl c ctrl f change the size the new shape will be smaller and here i can use the gradient so go to the gradient tab and select the gradient okay opacity will be 100 and type of the gradient will be radial. Okay, cool. And so use a dark color for the middle of the shape and the light color for the outside of the shape. Then select the dark color and the opacity for the dark color will be zero. Okay. I can change the opacity for the light color as well. And that's it. The earth is finished. So I hope that you like it. If you like it, stay tuned because the best is yet to come. Peace.